Hey guys, welcome back to Micho Makes. My name is Micho. I like to make stuff. Today I've got something I've been waiting for for about three years. It's finally arrived. It's the play date. Now, I've made a video back um, before the pandemic in 2019 going to PAX, previewing it, looking at it in person, uh, first time really handling it, and I finally have it in hand. Now, it did take a while. That was my fault because I didn't get on on the pre-order fast enough so i basically got like the second or third run of these it's been out already there are probably a lot of videos out previewing them and, and, and showing off the capabilities but this is my video okay so um as you can see <laughs> it is this was shipped on the first of uh sorry the fifth of january 2023 and again i previewed this back in 2019 the pandemic with supply chain stuff just really kind of threw everything off kilter so what i've gotten today and here is finally my play date in hand i have not opened this thing it is completely sealed i just all i did is remove the label my address on it but everything is from the factory so without further ado let's just pop this thing open and take a look at it okay so i've got my knife here let's go ahead and just pop this open Cool. Yeah, I placed my order. I'll go ahead and cover my stuff on. Um, July 29th, 2021. So, um, if you, you know, either have it before or after me, you know, then you should probably expect it sooner than later. But yeah, that's when I placed my order. Standard packaging, pretty nice. Actually, very well packaged. Whoa, look at that. I actually can't remember what I ordered. I ordered the play date and uh, the cover. Okay, so that's what this is. I was wondering what this was. This is the cover that uh, you can order. You order can order from uh, play date, and I've got it right here. Packaging that way. We made a play date just for fun. This little handheld game system fits perfectly in your pocket or in a pocket. The screen is black and white. The buttons feel great and the flip out crank, yes, gives games a whole new spin. But the best part, play date has a whole world of original gaming surprises waiting to be delivered directly to you. Let's have some fun. And again, it's made by Panic in cooperation with Teenage Engineering. And if you know Teenage Engineering, they make a lot of cool audio design, um, composing, um, uh, like hardware. Um, I actually have an OP1. I'm not a great musician, but I still love playing around with it. And all of the pocket operators, uh, you guys know. So this is really cool, sleek packaging. Again, this is brand new, never been used, never been opened. I've I just opened it with you guys. Made in Malaysia. There is a help in the barcode too as well. Late 2021. That's what uh, mine is slated. Oh, can you see, focus off that? Late 2021. So I don't know how long it's been, it's been in their factory or, or whatnot, but um, there you go. And then this is the packaging for the, um, the cover. Cool. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's pop this open. I'm gonna try to keep this as uh, nice as possible because I do like to collect my console boxes too as well. A lot of people sometimes keep them, sometimes don't. All right, let's take the first look at this. A little bit difficult to get this box out. Wow, that looks so cool. Oh wow, check this out too. On the opposite side, it actually, if you talk about package design, I'm not like super into it, but a lot of people are. Look at that. To protect it, they actually glued a piece with that would fit directly over this. And 
they probably the way that they probably aligned this was they put this piece right here with the glue on the other side and they just put the box down on top and then they glued itself to the box and exactly where it needed to be on top of um, the console itself too as well or they probably use some sort of jig if they would just had it separately separate separately separately made but pretty cool protection actually this is a really cool box let's take a look at this cable first looks like it's a, it's a USB-C as we saw in the previous video in 2019 yep USB-C looks like a high quality one too as well thank you so much for buying Playdate Oop. Is that focusing? Thank you so much for buying Playdate. To get started, press lock and it's on top. If nothing happens, first charge your Playdate with the included USB cable. Okay, I do not know if this is going to turn on or not the first time, but let's take a look. Look at that. Seizure warning. Now, remember, this thing is not backlit. So, it's a almost like an e-ink display, so you have to kind of be aware of that. But God, that is sharp. That looks so good. I don't know if it's being caught on camera, how good of a quality that is. And um, that is really, really sharp. That screen is beautiful. Now, I am using a new camera. I'm trying to experiment with new cameras. Um, but yeah, let's take a look. That is so cool. Wow, it's like a game to start out with. It really kind of lets you figure out all the buttons. Press the A button. Press the B button. Oh, and here's the crank. So let's pull my crank out and rotate it. Oh, that's so cool. That's such a great design. The crank feels really good too. I think it feels, so look, if you look, you can actually scroll backwards too as well. I think it feels a little stiffer than what I've felt in PAX. And I think that's due to the fact that this is brand new versus the one that PAX is just basically getting cranked on by thousands of people. Um, but this feels really tight in regard, not, and, and not in a bad way, tight in regards to feeling brand new and probably will be broken in eventually but this that's really cool what a great intro hello welcome to playdate we're glad you're here let's do a little setup to get started press a to continue I'll set up an account and I'm gonna get my Wi-Fi going. I'm gonna take this off camera and I'll pause the video here so I can get this time done. Hang on one second. All right, now after entering my Wi-Fi password, which is really cool, you could actually use the obviously D-pad, but you could actually use the crank too as well to connect, uh, or sorry, to connect to actually uh, scroll through the different letters and numbers to get to your Wi-Fi password, but really cool, really inventive, even just even the Wi-Fi selection screen. Connect to my Wi-Fi, registering my device. Okay, after basically having to do kind of the registration process, um, while I'll describe it while I'm downloading this update, um, you basically have to put there's a QR code that you have uh, have to have on there, and you scan that on your phone, and then there's a pin that you have to enter to register the device. It's kind of funky for me because I think they even pre-registered this device to my account. So it was kind of gave me an error. I had to back out, you know, re-log in, remove this device, and then add it back on through the QR code, entering the pin again. Kind of strange. The Playdate wouldn't actually let me proceed with the registration um, due to it already being registered to me very strange don't know um, but it seemed like it's working now after removing it on my account on my phone and then um, re going through the process of scanning the QR code entering the pin so now I'm done link update um, all good everything's looking fine right now this I, I want to say this this device is so light like it's really light in the hand my only little concern 
is the screen. Obviously, I have the case that's going to help protect it, but I'm really, it's super flush with the, um, the body, so there's no bezel. Like on, on my phone, there's a, at least there's a bezel of some sort when I put a case on it. Um, that's the only concern I have. I mean, I'm, this looks like a, I, I, we can just even just pop this open real quick and take a look at it. Um, that's my only concern because I, I wouldn't say I'm like rough with my devices, but I mean, I definitely have, you know, cracked screens before and that's no fun. So let's take a look at this case real quick. It's a really cool purple look. Wow, that's actually looked really high quality too as well. Wow, it attaches on these little kind of grommet ends right here um, on the corners. That's pretty slick actually. So let me just go ahead and try dropping it in real quick because it seems like it's pretty intuitive. Oh yeah, it's like magnetic. Oh, it's 100% magnetic. And then the grommets actually just align itself. So this is magnetic back here. And then this should just fall right in place. Wow, that actually looks really slick. Let's drop the uh, crank down. That actually looks like something that you could just easily keep in your pocket. A little play date embossed right there. Keep in your pocket. If you're like on a trip or airplane and you're, you're tired of your games on your phone or if you forget your Nintendo, you know, Switch or something like that, you could easily just have this literally just sitting in your bag, pull it out, play some games, and you'd be good to go. All right, so updated and um, restarting. It looks like it's updating right now, the firmware. I don't know what's on here um, on the new update. I haven't been really researching it. I, maybe I should have done that, but I, this is going to be all new for me. But it's, I'm just really pleased with this device so far. I'm curious that, um, I'm curious if, uh, if this is kind of like a Kindle, um, I don't know if you guys know how like Kindle Paperwhite works, that's like one of my favorite devices that I've owned and I have the Kindle Manga Edition, but on the Kindles, they're e-ink too as well, um, and then a lot of the covers, even third party covers, there's a magnet on inside of the cover, and if the magnet basically touches a certain portion of the uh, Kindle, I think it's on the side, it actually turns the screen off and locks the Kindle too as well. Um, I don't know if this does the same thing. Um, basically, it puts it to sleep, saves power, um, saves where you're, you're at too as well, but it seems like, um, I, I don't, I'm not too sure if they apply the same kind of concept with this case at least. But I, I really do actually kind of love this. It I almost looks like it's more like a purple and yellow s'more. I love it. If you're an LSU fan or Washington State Husky fan, you, you're going to love these colors. And uh, I do love these colors. What time is it? All right, let's take a look. It, it is actually 1.48 a.m. Sorry, <laughs> I am recording this pretty late. Uh, some metrics? Sure. Press A to play. Wow, that opening sequence looks so cool. White water wipeout. Casual birder. What is this? Settings. Okay, so, so there's two games. So I'm curious about the, how they're going to handle the seasons and if how if I'm assuming because I don't know. I don't think these are expandable, right? There's no SD card slot, so a lot of hackers um, can't usually add in games, make their own. They usually, and and actually, they don't really necessarily encourage that only because they'll you can do that through uh, playdate and if you want to be a game dev you'll actually uh, they'll they'll actually allow you and and be able to dev for them and they'll be able to be put on a season but the only reason why i asked that i'm just curious about how heavy these games are in regards to space and i'm not i can't remember exactly how much internal memory that played it is these are pretty light games in regards to um, intensity obviously they're e-ink um, but I'm just want to make sure that they're you know depending on how many seasons they have the device that when I do get updates and we do have 
um, new games coming out that you can handle all of them. And obviously, I'd like to continue playing previous seasons. That's kind of going to be the 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 kicker. I, I want to be able to keep these games and be able to continue playing them um, as the seasons as new games come out and then as new seasons come out too as well. So actually, let's just give this a shot real quick. Tune two high labs. Is it loading? There it is. White water rifle. That is that transition was so cool. Hopefully you guys saw that. Crank it, bro. Okay, we're using the crank. I think the novelty of the system is the crank. And I think a lot of these games initially are going to use a lot of the crank. I expect a lot of some games to have utilized the D-pad eventually. But um, I think a lot of them are going to be using the crank initially. Um, I would like to see, and if people do modify these play dates, you know, this is literally a per, a, the perfect form factor for an original Nintendo. Obviously, there's there's limitations in regards to you. Can, it's not really like a Game Boy uh, Color, you know. Obviously, game not Game Boy Advance, where you have the shoulder buttons too as well. But you were talking about original Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket. This is perfect. And if somebody puts a library of Game Boy games on here, you you bet your ass I'm gonna put them on here. So let's crank it. Oh wow, okay, so we're swimming. Whoa. Okay, I'm spinning well oh okay. Dual Wow, okay, fell off. So let me, let's try let's try a little bit let's go a little more intense. Whoa, okay, keep pra keep practicing. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be hard to get used to, but I think depending on you've got a wave coming. Un awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Try pressing L R in the air. Where's it? LR? Oh, left, right in the air. Okay, okay. So maybe use the crank and the Atlas station. Let's try this. And there's a global ranking board. Looks like. Let's try this again. Okay. Can I go this way? Keep practicing. Okay. So I've got to land it somehow. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Now I'm getting it. So you just got Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's cool. What a cool game. All right, I've got three points, it looks like. All right, here we go. That's how you crank it. You crank it to start. Let's go this way. No, 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 no. All right, well, that's three points. Hold up before jumping. Oh, okay, so it does use the D-pad and the crank. Actually, the crank more so than anything else. That's the only thing is, it seems like you've definitely got to get your hand underneath it wholly and then utilize the crank. So it is definitely a two-handed, you know, um, game, at least for this game too as well. Um, let's take a look at the global rankings. Wow, some people are cracked at this game. I don't know if you guys can read that, but that's... Um, about 2 million points, and I got three. I'll keep practicing. All right, let's go back. How do I get back home? There you go. Press B. Oh, actually, let me, let's me let hit that button, maybe. Oh, cool. Well, I, I got to charge this thing. Clock. Hello. Press lock twice. Okay. Oh, maybe this is the home button. Okay, yeah, exactly. Home. Let's take a look at Casual Birder. It, that is actually pretty hilarious. I love that. Let's take a look at this. By Diego Garcia. Actually, you know what? I haven't tried It's the sound. Let me see if I can go to settings real quick. Volume. There it is. It was completely locked. Oh, wow. Listen to that music. Okay, let's actually... Let's try this real quick. Start any game. Is this an RPG? Well, kid, here we are. Your new digs. I already moved your stuff in, so you're all set.
you're a pretty brave kid moving to a town like this. Do you even know anything about bird photography? You can have a rough time here if you can't at least handle the basics. You got a camera out on the phone, right? There's a Bobby sitting around here somewhere. See if you can snap it for me. And don't forget to focus with the crank. Alright, I'll take a picture. Wow, so you basically have a phone. Okay, so here's the focus. I I'm, I'm look like I'm in focus there. Now I've got to find the bird. Over here. Wow, that is cool. Look at that. F you can see how oh, it's kind of hard for you to see. I'm just trying to make, like, get that reflection on the screen. You guys see that? Looks like something right there. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Did I get that? You got a new bird, black bodied Bobby. These cuties hang around and fly into houses. They're not even from a bird town. To be honest, they can be a nuisance, but I don't know. They're still birds. Maybe I like them anyway. Let's go back. Oh, wow. This is cool. This is like a legit RPG. Oh yeah, you want the pick of the Bobby? Sorry. Well, you got him, nice work, boy. Whoa, sounds like somebody needs to get moving. Hey yo, here's Mondo's Go Code. Well, we're pretty good at moving because lifting stuff isn't that hard for us on account of our muscles. Moto here, bad roommate. Gotta leave immediately. Left dishes in the sink. Never installed the air conditioner, just sitting around. Listen, you find a spot to hunker, I'm on my way. Well, kid, I've got to deal with a ripper of a moving emergency. But do me a favor, huh? Trips on me, but I need you to help me out with something. I've got this. Well, here's, there's something like... I like, okay, her name's Maggie. I want you to give her this package I found her and tell it's from me. It's a special thing, okay? Don't go losing it. Just follow the road there and head over the bridge and you can't miss her place. And hey, watch out for bad birders. What a cool game. I got a package. Now, if you look, I mean, like, this is pretty close to the camera and the details that you get from the screen is super sharp. I really like the screen. You know, if you have a lot of far side issues where you it's hard for you to see things up close and you're basically pushed pulling it back from your body and to read it, you might have some issues. But if you're nearsighted like me, the screen quality and the sharpness of the screen is like, I actually am kind of blown away at the resolution. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump back home. Is that the right button? Or just put it up to sleep? Press lock twice. I think I just put it to sleep. We'll go, ahead, we'll go home. And take a look at the system settings real quick. Um, I'm gonna block out that account <laughs> and my Wi-Fi. But you can see there's a lock screen, there's an analog, analog clock, you can do a digital clock or a word clock, that's kind of cool. Let's take a look at the word clock, that's kind of cool. Um, there's an auto lock function, and I'm curious if that actually functions the same as I said before. Um, actually, we'll use, we'll use the crank, we'll use the crank. If auto lock works as off while charging, on. So if I close this, does it lock automatically? No, it doesn't. Accessibility mode, oh, interesting. Reduce flashing or upside down. Upside down, interesting. The time, device metrics, and system. Updates, input, replay intro, regulatory labels, to restart, to reboot, factory reset, and send a crash report. Very cool. This is actually the games, and I'm, I'm really excited to the other seasons that we're gonna actually be able to see. We've got two 
actually pretty decent games. Let's actually listen to the Whitewater, uh, Whitewater rap or Whitewater game again, the surfing game. I want to hear the the music because I didn't get that. Either. Whitewater, Whitewater. Oh, that's really cool. And ship tune. All right, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna move this around my hand so I can actually try this out this time. No, I fell off again. All right, let's try it. This game kind of reminds me of Quap a little bit. Oh no, I fell off, but I got five points already. It looks like I, I'm, I'm trying to meet a wave, or sorry, beat a wave that's coming. So I've got to go to the left and balance yourself to the left too as well. So overall, um, I think this is a really cool, inventive game. Um, I'm going to do my best to keep playing it, but I do like the music a lot. It sounds actually a lot better than I thought it would be with the speaker right here. It's a model speaker, so it's not like a, a huge sound blast, but... It, it does the job, but this is such a cool device. Obviously, headphone jack, which you don't see on many devices anymore, which is really cool. Um, I think this is a microphone, I'm assuming, and the USB-C charger too as well. I don't think I ever looked at the back, so let's go ahead and turn this volume down too as well. That's very cool. Take a look at the back of this device. It's got the play date embossed on the back, the model number, and just the way it looks. Now, if you look too, these are um, screws, flathead screws here. So th I'm assuming that's how you would access and open the uh, the back of the device uh, too as well. You could really couldn't see that um, when I looked at it at PAX because they actually had a uh, security cable running through this to kind of make sure nobody walked off with them. Um, oh, that's the word clock. Very cool. January, oh, it's Friday the 13th. <laughs> but um, it is e-ink. Um, since this is the basically the idle mode, quote unquote, um, it is uh, it's gonna leave it on there and it's gonna just sip battery power. So it's not gonna like kill battery at all with um, j the fact that this is, be is e-ink. My, my only concern is the durability. This looks very durable in regards to the build quality. It feels very hefty too as well. But again, the my biggest concerns are the flush screen, literally flush. It is a slight ridge. It's slightly recessed, but not enough to actually, it's gonna give you any kind of protection. I am gonna be looking into maybe trying to get a screen protector. I do like to put screen protectors on my devices, especially when it's got a, a flat screen like this too as well. Um, and then, you know, just if, you know, this is built for portability and quick gaming, right? To be able to play, pull out, play for a few minutes. Maybe you're on the bus, you're waiting on a train, you know, you're waiting in some sort of line that you don't want to wait in the DMV or something like that. Pull this out. Have some fun, put it away, good to go. It's very pocketable, um, but my concern is the durability. That's the only thing. Um, I think of, when I think of a durable console that is portable, my initial thought is the Game Boy SP. And the Game Boy SP was the foldable clamshell, and those were extremely portable. Um, I actually have one right here. It's something I'm gonna be repairing soon and maybe making a video on. But this is a Game Boy SP I bought for 10 bucks a long, long, long time ago. And you can see the issue, broken LCD. But this is, my opinion, peak portability. Um, screen completely protected, buttons completely protected, um, rechargeable battery. You know, this, these are, uh, I think, the ultimate portable console. And, and in comparison to the Game Boy SP, they are literally the same. Um, dimensions except for the thickness you can see how much thinner the play date is and and to be honest with you lighter um so 
I think that's what maybe they were going for. I but I will say is sometimes there is some benefit to having the bulk, but you can tell that this, this is just such high quality craftsmanship and work. Um, I, I'm really excited to see what um, what played it has to in store different seasons. I'm going to be getting those wireless updates and maybe I'll revisit them next season comes out and then I'll make a, a quick video on those too as well. But um, thanks very much for watching this video today. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Um, I am going to be trying to post more, uh, more content in regards to uh, me making stuff. Obviously, I'll do some updates on the Xterra too as well. But thanks again for watching and I really hope you guys have a great day. Please, uh, you know, like and subscribe if you like to as well. And uh, leave any comments or questions. Did you get a play date? Um, how do you like it? How are you utilizing it? Are you going to be developing games for this too as well? Um, I think this is a really, really cool um, gadget. And I'm, I'm going to continue um, utilizing it and, and using it on, on trips and on, on quick excursions too as well. But thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.